Hello everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and I just got off uh, from hitting golf balls, playing golf in the ocean, and I know that's a funny thing to do, but that's what we do, and as a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that I always have to bring out, for those of you especially that play golf, and know how aggravating the game of golf can be to many of us, that it's very important to keep your GI tract in good shape, because if you have any type of emotional or tension problems in the GI tract due to this game that can they can definitely cause uh, you need to be aware of it now today we're actually going to be speaking about vitamins and minerals in relation to the GI tract as we've spoken about before in earlier uh, you know earlier shows now one of the things I did speak about was how important it is to you, for you to be able to absorb or incorporate many of these vitamins and minerals that you get from your diet into the body in a proper way. And if your GI tract is not functioning correctly and you have, let's say, any type of problem where you have malabsorption or irritation or inflammation or anything that can be caused, you know, and, and cause these uh, minerals and vitamins not to be absorbed, then other problems will arise from that. And on one of the shows, I did speak about how important it is for, for instance, that we absorb B12 from the body, in the body. And it's very important to understand that B12, the only way it's absorbed through the GI tract is that, number one, the stomach itself has to be functioning correctly. And it also has to be functioning in a way that you're able to pick up what is known as the intrinsic factor which is a large polypeptide molecule that is very important that it be incorporated into the, from the stomach into the intestinal tract and of course all the way down to the ileum which is the, the third part of the uh, small intestine. It has to be absorbed at that point and unless that intrinsic factor is picked up at that point in the ileum you are not going to have proper uh, absorption of many different things. And one of the things that you won't be able to do, because the intrinsic factor is very important for picking up B12. So you will not be able to get B12 in your body through the GI tract. Because once again, in the ileum, what you have is you've got the intrinsic factor has come from the stomach and it has attached itself. And it, what it does is it attaches itself to the B12 molecule. At that point, you've got this particular receptor site in the ileum that allows the B12 to be absorbed. But of course, once again, without that intrinsic factor, nothing will happen. And you will not absorb B12 properly. And of course, B12 is very important for your red blood cells, for your bone marrow. And once again, people that are lacking in B12 end up with something called pernicious or megaloblastic anemia of where the red blood cells do not mature. Many bad things happen from that as you know. So the bone matrix itself will not be able to really make those red blood cells properly. There's many other things that are important of course besides the intrinsic factor. There's you know your everyday run-of-the-mill you know fat soluble vitamins such as E, such as uh, D, and this is very, very important because at that same area, in other words, the ileum, or the third part of the uh, small intestinal tract, is where most, probably all, of your, B, of your um, uh, fat-soluble vitamins are absorbed. And so once again, if you have any of these type of problems, gastrointestinal problems all the way to the, uh, into the GI tract, uh, any type of intestinal problem where you're getting malabsorption, it is going to affect the absorption, especially, especially of these very important fat-soluble vitamins. Now, why are fat-soluble vitamins important? Fat-soluble vitamins are very important because they, number one, have a lot of functions in the body, and many of the minerals that we take in and we always talk about not just vitamins but minerals many of the minerals that we take into the body are not really going to function the right way or not going to be 
utilized correctly unless those particular fat soluble vitamins are incorporated along with those along with those minerals so you can't really separate in many times you can't say well you know I can absorb minerals but not vitamins and it's okay to do either one no you have to have both working together and the only way you're going to have these working together and to get them into the body properly is to have proper GI gastrointestinal function and one of the most important parts of the function is having a GI tract that has the proper pH that is functioning correctly and that is once again protected by that very powerful ingredient that we all produce called mucin and so you have to have this mucin and of course we speak about the uh, stomachs and you as an initiator for mucin a very important and powerful uh, initiator for mucin so remember this is probably one of the most important things you can do for yourself until the next time, this is Dr. Robert Berger. Please visit our website at drrobertberger.blip.tv, and we will see you soon.